Hi everyone, welcome back to another weekly reading. This weekly reading is going to be for the week of, what is it, July 18th to July 24th, 2022. And as you guys know, these readings are timeless and signless, so it doesn't matter when you're watching the video and it doesn't matter what your sign is, your sun sign or any other kinds of placements. If you found this video, then it's manifested for you based on something in your energetic field. And if it resonates with you at a conscious level, then hey, there may be something here for you. But please, as with everything in your life, please practice discernment and make sure that you are calm and in as much of your heart space as you can be before you watch this video and any videos, just to make sure that you are activating, um, you know, the proper things. That's a part of the discernment, okay? If you're in a really fear-based mood, you're going to think that fear-based things sound right and vice versa. So make sure that you're as even keeled as possible. Did you notice that uh, tower card in the reverse that dropped out? <laughs> I put it back in, so let's see if it comes back out. All right, so what's going to be going on for us? What would we like to communicate? Wow, this card came up, came out. Okay, all right, all right. I love how it just was like, leave me be in the reverse. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Thank you. All right, let's continue. Uh, just give my little Virgo rising part of me a little chance to get these cards <laughs> straight. <laughs> Speaking of that, I'm definitely getting that you're going to, hold on, let me see, does this one, there. You're going to want to make sure that you get your details straight at this time, okay? Now, whenever they say that, this tells me that um, there may be, for some of you, you actually may be prone, just generally speaking, you may be prone to over, over, well, a few words are coming in, overreacting and also just reacting quickly. So not only just being impulsive and reacting, but also overreacting. So uh, definitely for you, there's a little bit of an energy here or a lot of an energy of needing to really look at something and look at someone, mm, they are, they're going in today, look at someone very closely before you make any decisions, before you take any plunges, before you sign any paperwork, you know, make sure that you have thought this well through, that you vetted this. Now, if you follow my channel, no, let me revert, let me refine that a little bit better. If you find that these days you are seeing me, hi, pop up in your life, in your physical life, like my channel crosses your path, like you tuned in here and you tuned in there and you saw my daily or just whatever, then you most likely belong to the collective of people that the messages that I'm receiving at these time um, are for, okay? And so if you belong to that collective, then please do go back and take a look at the July 2022 read, uh, 2022 monthly reading. The monthly reading is very, very straightforward. It's like, hey, um, this is not the month to be impulsive because something or someone is going to appear to you and make you an offer or make you an offer or, uh, you know, try to bring you on board with some type of opportunity. It is your job to stop the presses to think, to go inward, to do your due diligence, to practice discernment, because the energy is a little bit similar in the sense, uh, in a sense, to the energy that I remember picking up back in February. And that, that energy was either February or March, but definitely around that time, that, maybe March, the energy then was like, hey, be careful of your choices because you're going to get a yes. So <laughs> sometimes we're used to just getting rejected. We're used to being told, no, you have to wait. We're used to being told, no, I'm sorry, I'm not interested in you. Or, oh, I'm sorry, we've decided to go with another applicant. Whatever it is, we're used to getting the yeses and nos, you know, probably sometimes more nos. But this month, you might just get the yes. You might think also erroneously that if an answer is yes, that they will date you, yes, that you have been promoted, yes, that you can move into this place, you'll think that, okay, well, I had a desire 
a yes came down the pipes and that means that this is perfect and that may not necessarily be the case it sometimes just happens that energy flows in a way that you get what you what you're asking for but it also happens that sometimes you don't and sometimes living in a in a space where answer where no is frequently heard or no is a common part of life can be very very good for us because it allows us to stretch of course and help manage our expectations but also to get used to not having what it is we want but it also keeps us safe rejection is protection we see this a lot with yes men you know if you have a lot of yes men around you next thing all of a sudden you're running down a path that you are just and you realize oh my god i'm a king and i'm naked <laughs> see my new clothes and everyone's like e -e yes we do and you know they're seeing a lot more than your new clothes and so please do be mindful of that so in a nutshell uh, barriers that would usually pop up to say hey you're going the wrong way hey don't do that um, might not be doing their barrier work as much this month now hey I'm not saying it's a test month because I'm not necessarily getting that energy I'm getting that this is just more of the flow it's just energy and it's interesting because i was thinking just the other day because i'm just like you guys god bless god bless our buttons i'm learning too right and i was like well is luck really a thing does that for reals reals happen how does that fit in with fate and destiny and free will and a, and a butterfly flapping its wings all the way over there and then me in a hurricane and how does all that fit in and then i just realized you know what i think i made a decision as a janelle that I'm going to believe that luck is actually an energy that exists in and of itself. Now, I could be wrong. I don't know. God is good. God will let me know. God bless. Right? But I do believe so. And it kind of flows. Who knows how it flows? But I do believe that it, it does exist. That you can have luck. And at other times, you can have bad luck. And at other times, I'm willing to think that maybe you don't have either. Maybe these are just independent energies that flow around. And, by what system and method I have no idea but they exist and so the other state of being luck and no luck would be um, uh, luck and bad luck would be uh, just the the absence of either charge that you're just you know a normie <laughs> normal um, and so when you think about energy as flowing in that way that and it's funny look how this cute little kid is here with these three things yeah good luck bad luck oh you're neutral and so that's why i'm saying we're talking about the flow of energy this month it just so happens that the energy is flowing in a way that uh, the barriers are not popping up just like that so yes rejection is protection but if rejection is protection then you know we need to make sure that the rejection is working <laughs> normally and it's not taking a vacation you know so long story short how is this showing up for me already well listen guys i do have a taurus moon i am so sorry if you know me you know i love food i love you but i love food and if you have food as your middle name then i love you even more and so DoorDash and so I'm just like ah, should I order it and just usually the bells that are like don't do it you need to stop spending all your money on food and you know buy other things or save um, it's just not popping up so you know <laughs> anyway <laughs> donations welcome <laughs> thank you thank you help me offset this the stress <laughs> but um anyway on a serious note that's an example of you know maybe your your um not just your not just the rejection and the and your natural defenses like don't do this are kind of down this month but um also maybe your what's the word impulse control so just be mindful okay so be 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 mindful about that okay wow i just had to explain that look at that guys uh, don't trip chocolate chip okay uh, don't trip chocolate chips because quite a few of you are here look there's a contract okay look at this contract looking good you know a table in the middle of the field we've got a, a, a spot of tea there along with a nice pot and if you guys know me and i know you know me and some of you you really do know me you know i like my hot beverages i will hunt you down and ask you to have a hot beverage with me and so um that right there i if i see that set up i have to be like hold on a second i can't just be rolling up to this table i have to wait a second because look at these contracts here what is this who is trying to to 
you know, oh, it's so, so funny. I almost said, who's trying to get into bed with me? So somebody out there, that is, that is something for you um, to consider. <laughs> That is something for you to consider. As I'm seeing it here, I'm, I, okay, there it is. All right, see, that's what I'm saying. Balance with all these contracts here. Yep, balance. As I'm seeing this here, I feel kind of good because maybe this is me too, but I see here in this card that a lot of you have not, um, maybe some of you, I don't know, but I'm getting a feel that generally speaking, a lot of you have ah, seen the light. Now I say it that way because I'm seeing now a rainbow arch right in front of me. And at, oh, when it, I'm also seeing an eye, like a third eye kind of thing. So spirit is saying, yes, yes, yes. You've been following your guidance. Now, is it the guidance from the video? I, I doubt it. Like I doubt that you watched it and you were like, oh my God, I'm gonna follow this forever. Maybe it is just one of the little things kind of talking to you about this message but your guidance has been very strong telling you to pump the brakes on certain things <laughs> and it seems like you have been okay so really really great job because I see you here on one side of the embankment and then you know on the other side you're looking but you haven't crossed it so be very very mindful that um, there is a guy offering an offer right here. L look at this. We've got quite a few offers on the table. We've got contract. We've got contracts and the word balance. We've got somebody offering something, right? 11 minutes, 11 seconds. It doesn't get any clearer than this. Let's... The architect. Very good. Now, the reason why you're being asked to be mindful at this time is thank you they're saying they're saying it's correct there's no assessment right now we're not be you know, this is not about a test that's not why the barriers and the usual rejections and usual protections and are are a little bit relaxed and loose that's not it it's just it's just a flow right um and they're like you guys can think for yourselves right you're not always yeah but um oh the reason why i feel that no the reason why i feel that you guys are being asked thank you to be mindful also is because i think that there is some building going on in the background right there's building going on in the background for you in the sense that uh things are being brought into existence but at the same time there are things that are going on oh and with that you you want to make sure that you're feeding the energy in a positive way so that the positive things continue their path towards breaking into the physical right um and you refine your vision so that the things that you don't want are not included in that manifestation but also you can't see around corners and I do feel there's a little bit of I do feel a little bit of gossip energy going on in the background now I do feel good knowing that much of this has nothing to do with you I just like I don't feel in particularly that people are gossiping gossiping about you but I feel like there are people with whom you are connected that are acting in ways that are not positive so they're not positive influences for you and I'll explain that just a little bit more I almost just coughed also so some of you may have wanted to go and connect with them canoodle with them could be friends could be family because well that's what we do but maybe you you chose not to some of you may have gotten sick some of you um, may have just just had a thought like ah, I don't feel like hamming it up today or and you kind of have a little bit of a distance there with those people because I do feel that they're on your periphery as being influences that that are fine for where they are but if you were to get more involved with them to engage more for some of you you're this is about a family of in-laws to be so notice they said engage and as I said that um, the energy was like that for someone here at least one person uh, these would be family members of the person that you're considering getting engaged with so for right now I would just take a back seat what is this card wanting to I'm getting the word juicy. I just heard juicy, but I don't know what that means. But anyway, I'm getting this card here. Let's go ahead and pull that. How do you want to be like this? It doesn't know how it wants to be. This is this is complexity right here and it's frozen a bit. OK, so and that's OK. Let me just <laughs> you know, I don't usually <laughs> do this, but let's do it because we need to do it. Yeah, I'm just loosening up the energy. I'm getting a marshmallow energy. I'm going to make this energy a little malleable and hold on. Sorry, hopefully, hopefully you're not in your headphones one more time. Ah! Okay, I'm gonna break some backs here. I don't know why I had to say that. Look at that. You need to be more flexible, flexible, okay? So it's a little bit of an energy technique that's happening right now. 
so this card is representing this energy of whoever it is they're very rigid so we're just um using the card as a, anyway it doesn't matter but <laughs> you're getting the energy you're getting it you're getting it okay this feels a little better yeah this feels a little better especially down the spine Ooh, if you can do some some opening and closing exercises of the um shoulder blade area like this right that'd be perfect um uh, what's the word widening exercises for the hips you know down that um, central line the midline of the body so um, it's great that will the minute I put it down it was like zzz, again you gotta make sure you work on that okay um, God is good but anyway I forgot what I was gonna say because that was that came up and I think they just wanted us to acknowledge that um, guys what were we talking about um, all right let's move on um, what I'm seeing here is some mirroring. See how in both cases we have a, a lovely lady. Hi, hi. And they're both looking that way. So what I'm seeing here is actually mirroring in the sense that spirit wants us to position ourselves. And I love this energy. Like I just, I, like you can't see me because I'm standing off to the side, but I like turn my body this way. And I just wanted to just position myself to stand up just like her and receive energy buzzing right through the back of my entire body. And what that is, is that they're, asking us now to position ourselves strengthen ourselves ground ourselves so that we may receive instruction and that's interesting i'll give you a really great example of that um that dynamic in the physical so just earlier today i was doing my own prayer because you guys know i get down right and i was like god hi remember me and i was really praying for my heart to be opened up to be you know more empath emp empathetic and and just to have a change of state to uh you know remember you know whatever i need to remember but to get to a place where my heart space is open and for that to and even as i'm talking about that i'm feeling my throat chakra kind of be affected and for that to affect for the positive the chakras throughout the rest of my body right for alignment to occur but for that heart space to open now that's a really great example of really um putting into practice i guess a practice uh, and some forethought and some intention and effort uh, and intention yeah to have to to be the vessel for which the energy that is going to be useful for you in this case for me an open heart can uh, be embodied right so this is me for example saying hey this is the change of change of state that i would like to move towards please help me to prime the pump please help me to get ready to receive because when we ask we receive if we don't receive then it's one of two things either it's not for you or it's totally been sent but you've somehow blocked it <laughs> you know or there are factors that need to be cleared out of the way for it to flow to you you will never get a no from the universe unless it's not meant to be and that's just how that how that goes you know um and sometimes but the problem is that we don't see clearly and so we think we're getting a no but actually it's like yeah we we, we mailed that out to you like Two months ago when you asked for it it's not there yet oh no oh yeah did you check your core beliefs oh uh, yeah i did ask for more money a higher paycheck but you're right i do have that core belief running in the background that i'm not worthy of money that i have to work harder to get money that i don't that i need more education that people who look like me can't make money yeah you gotta clear all that otherwise you're the one you're, you're blocking yourself and so this is a classic example of what you don't know about yourself can hurt you right and so that's why if you follow my channel god is good they are just browbeating me and i'm browbeating you and you might be browbeating somebody i don't know into the idea that you have to do your inner work and what does that mean it just means taking the steps to set your intention to know yourself better and allowing that energy to come in and show you it's not even doesn't even have to be this big ritual thing and all of this and all of that it's not it's not complicated just ask and allow just do it <laughs> just do it right and once you get that ball rolling and you start paying attention you're gonna be like oh my gosh what have i been doing my whole life yeah, the same thing we've all been doing, sleepwalking. That's what it means to be 
unconscious, unaware. And so what happens is you're just unaware that you're holding certain beliefs that are holding you back. That's it. It's misperception. That's it. So um, they will always just keep saying, hey, just uh, can you like get more into yourself for a little bit? Right. Can you pay more attention to what's going on with you so that you can see these patterns that are coming down here for you? Otherwise, you're just going to keep getting bowled over by the waves instead of realizing, oh, my God, I'm in the ocean. Duh, I'm going to get hit by waves. That's a wave. So why don't I take these steps to, you know, be a little bit more connected? <laughs> And then all of a sudden you start being able to make conscious decisions, conscious changes. Okay, the next wave is coming. I know what to do. When I see the wave coming, I'm just going to duck underwater really quickly. And then I'm going to come back up five seconds later. You know, it's just you'll, you'll be able to think better. Hold on. Oh my gosh. If you guys saw like some cards fell, right? And of course, look what fell. Two cards. One is still here and one's on the floor. And of course, what fell on the floor? Upside down. Blat out the same card <laughs> that we started with remember <laughs> and i was like oh the tower card and no it came out reverse but i'm gonna put it back in and see if it comes out again there it is <laughs> so, <laughs> and then here's clearing the way Ooh, thank you i i get I, this is this is psh, psh, just slap me two times i get it i just need one slap out of these two cards you know what i don't even look i don't even need any slaps from these two cards i get it let's go with this card look when you go inside when you sit and you prepare, you go inward with your team, of course, God bless, you know, ask them to be in attendance. And then, oh, there they are. Oh my God, that's them. While you're learning about yourself, guess what happens? You start to change. Yeah, I'm hearing, I was going to say change contracts. I also heard change worlds, but the guide said change your mind. That's what this is all about. You're just fighting to clear the, the to, to become aware of your, your core beliefs. Just that's it. That is the key. There is no fountain of youth you need to find. There is no this. There is no that. There is no grail that you need to be focused on right now. What you need to focus on is you. You are the holy grail. What is inside of me? What are my core beliefs? Um, and once you get into that space, you start to witness miracles. Now, they're saying just do that. But if you're, if you need a little encouragement, let's put it that way. <laughs> And then you start to get the physical manifestations blocking your way and you start the idea is like hey are you noticing this are you noticing this are you noticing that are you noticing that and then if you're still not taking the steps to really get to a place of understanding and understanding well what's happening with me why am i having these knee-jerk reactions what are the patterns in the people that i'm attracting to me what are the opportunities i tend to attract what type of you know even you start asking those in those inquiries you're now on the path even if you're not getting answers right away you're on the path and you're seasoning and conditioning the universe to start to yield the answers to that but let's say you just keep getting the crashing waves and you're just like whatever oh he's single again i'm gonna go for it like don't do it don't do it then maybe mm, you need one of those okay we don't like the tower moments no one likes the tower moments but i'll tell you what spirit look at them now they're bringing this card and look at this when you look out your window, would you like to see that or would you like to see that? And that is the main thing. If you're working on yourself, if you're working, you're putting things together, you suddenly start to feel better. You're like, I'm making progress. Things are making sense. I may still get tower moments along the way, but I know that I'm doing the best that I can and I'm taking the time to sit still. Sitting still is what people don't do. You have to sit, to sit still. And if you're not doing that, I understand that. Maybe you're married. Maybe you have children. Maybe you have um, whatever reason that you can't find, you know, work, whatever, that you can't find time to just sit then I will tell you that you're missing out on an, the ability to uh, to connect to yourself in a way that is very necessary. And it doesn't mean you'll never be able to do that. It means that you're postponing that level of connection. And so there's going to be, you know, it, it's just a, a repercussion of that. It's just that you're not you're not in there. Now, you may find other ways to do it, but sure, in it, if you can find time to do any other types of healing modalities or 
meditation or with music no, just take time out and just sit somewhere and when they say sit somewhere they mean no music like don't listen to the spa music don't listen to the birds don't listen to the gongs don't listen to the the bamboo what do you call it uh, wind chimes don't listen to any of that the drumming nothing it's just you and that's it and when you can really start to put that into practice even if it's just for 10 minutes a day at first you're going to see miracles okay now i would never like suggest these things if it didn't happen if i weren't like oh my god i tried this guys and i did and if you know me like i know like I somehow i always end up <laughs> becoming friends with my clients and 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 a lot of you guys who watch me you are my actual friends you know me um you know i work a lot i am always working it is just what i do i'm sorry i'm always working and if i can finally take a moment and try this much to my chagrin because <laughs> i'm like guys spirit guides how am i going to get work done if you want me to take this time out i have this these clients i have this 40 hour work week that i'm doing at a day job and then i still have to take care of me and then i start it's just so much how can i do that but i'll tell you what i set my intention to have my schedule we re reworked i set my intention to somehow get time to sit quietly and that's what's happened and i will tell you it's just like since that's happened i've just been having breakthrough after breakthrough after breakthrough and i'm still getting my my 40 hour work week in i'm still getting you know my clients in. i'm still getting to do self-care and it's it's just you just have to get started and i think that that feels like a message that i keep having to deliver maybe because the guides think we need to keep hearing it and i know they personally told me 10 million times before i finally did and so let me tell you that based on my experience the workaholic in this room that it is a thing you will see results and i much rather i would much rather ha see this nice little electric blue moon out me literally looking like oh shoot um there's a moon there's a moon and cancer out okay i know that means i'm probably gonna have emotions let me make sure i sit with myself a little bit more or hey i had this day at work oh my gosh let me sit with myself quietly feel it get get the napkins out cry it out um you know chat with a friend if i need to connect with my team really try to understand what happened and let it go yeah so if you if you're not doing that reflective process then um you know yeah then maybe you 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 should <laughs> it's up to you guys though but i'm, I'm making a pitch here I'm making a pitch uh, and i don't get anything out of it so so you know it's coming from my heart so here um but anyway god is good uh so spirit is saying yes there is some information that's going to be there for you it's like literally sitting there so if you can find the time they're so funny they're like if you can find the time for us but they're saying it in a really funny kind of way thanks thanks for that <laughs> yeah look at this they're all happy look at this see they're, they're it's representing them they have some sen good senses of humor it's like if you can find the time for us and look at how they're getting all extra happy at that idea and then here you are this cute little these cute little ones coming and look at them all happy it's like the same person yeah hey we, we have all these messages for you yeah and they're saying it's not even messages to scare people it's just like hey come 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 they have everything down to hey we know you've been wanting to have a new kind of hot beverage listen we got the perfect thing for you and then they tell you or you you know they send it to you and in, and what does that look like in the physical they do it in the non-physical but if you're clairaudient you could hear it because like me i could hear it but it'll come to you like you'll just be online and you bump into a recipe like oh my god what is this this looks great and you don't know but they sent that your way so there's information for you for all types of things home repair home decor finding medical professionals um uh finding a way to apologize to that one friend or family member um uh, thinking about how to spend your vacation coming up with ideas to save they do everything and so i think what the guides i've noticed or have been trying to do um, through my channel the last over the last two months is to get people in get people in like hey 
we're here we're working with you we're your heavenly helpers as they, <laughs> they just said that <laughs> you know because i would never say those words <laughs> heavenly helpers <laughs> it's so cute <laughs> it's like oh <laughs> yeah they're your heavenly helpers we do it all we do taxes we do carpet repair we got you um we do grief consulting they do they they do work in the medical in your medical body in your mediastinum i just want to say that <laughs> where your heart is so some of you if you have heart conditions hello they're talking to you um, all sorts of stuff so career changes they do it all so they've been really trying to get people especially moving into this age you know you want to call it new earth consciousness you want to call it whatever you want doesn't matter but you know yeah this is what it is it's 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 groups working in groups communities starting with yourself and your divine assistance okay a n c e and I guess A-N-T-S, okay? <laughs> Divine assistance sounds the same. And so, um, anyway, I go on. But, um, yes, so please heed their, their advice. Uh, start taking the time to sit still and to allow them in. This is not about a fear-based thing. You know, leave all your programming outside, the religious programming, the parental programming, all that stuff. It's just, it's, you know, <laughs> it's your own energy you're connecting with and your, and your guides, your angels, and that's it. Um, also, please be mindful, as we know in the month of July, with just signing on to things. Make sure you do your homework first. Make sure you vet these people first. Uh, make sure that the feeling that feels right when you decide to make a decision is founded upon um, sound reasoning, sound reasoning that isn't uh, based on a fear-based belief, okay, uh, but one that is founded in love and, and self-love. And anyway, lots lots to unpack. But anyway, so if you hadn't had a chance, haven't had a chance, please go ahead and review the July 2022 monthly reading. And of course, this, uh, this is the weekly reading. So if you'd like, you can also look at the past weekly readings for the month of July. But either way, um, God is good and so are you. If you're looking to do some personal work and you'd like to some assistance and you'd like to work with me, please feel free to check my Etsy page. Everything's there. And um, until then, oh, you know what they just showed me? They just showed me the Hamsa. Okay, the Hamsa is that hand that looks like like you know i can't break my fingers to do it i don't want to but it's like this where the hands a little like um you know anyway it protects you uh, from the evil eye and all of that so they're showing that symbol here maybe that's to connect with somebody like maybe somebody you were just interacting with the hamsa or maybe you were just thinking about it and you're like oh my god that's for me it could also mean spirit is trying to ask you to take better self-protection of yourself um make sure you're putting proper boundaries around you again they're saying watch for certain people do not just go off in the dark with certain people that's interesting okay just when i thought i was heading out but they're, they're bringing me back in um so some of you yeah you may get invitations to go places to do things i just feel like right now you're trying to listen they're saying say it after me you know right now i'm just trying to get my life together i'm just trying to get myself together right now boom that's it let them know and get yourself out of it you don't have to go this isn't high school anymore peer pressure oh my god i have to go here no you're trying to get yourself together and that means that you're not just going to go hopping off with what are some fake names uh tom billy i don't know <laughs> going willy-nilly just because you got an invitation somewhere because everybody's doing it because whatever no just do you grab some lemonade head back to the crib chill you know pop on a movie you know go go um i'm seeing somebody here my nose is itching so i'm definitely getting some messages from people i'm seeing somebody like is it sanding sanding their boat you know go focus on those things that are about you because i definitely feel in this month be mindful guys you may get tripped up well if you're not careful you will get tripped up by adjacent people people that are on your periphery that you know again they may not 
purposefully try to harm you or just whatever but their energy frequency is low and the next thing you go you hang out with them you go consort with them and now you're in this bubble of fear think and all this stuff that you've been trying to work on is now like you know washed over all their stuff no oh i do want to let you know i just did the channel reading for today the daily uh, message you know i channel every day to um bring through a message and i post it to uh, instagram and youtube and today's message that's so crazy that's right um what was it what was today's message? it just was in my head uh yes thank you they were saying that an energy is coming back around okay there's a familiar old energy coming back around and carly simon's song was playing you know um uh coming around again so please be mindful if you have transcended the lesson that came with that energy interaction and engagement in the past then you'll see this coming a mile away this person texts you or this person invites you into something and you're like nah i'm cool thank you i just saw the hamza no i'm cool uh, i'm good i'm good on this i'm you know i'm working on me right now i'm just trying to stay focused i don't really have as much time and whatever you want to say um yeah and and you will stick to that and you will be fine it won't feel right to connect with that energy again whether that's a person whether it's going to a, a place you didn't that you used to go to before it doesn't vibe with you anymore whether it's a job opportunity or some type of uh job that's similar to an energy that you were hoping to get out of and you know whatever it is whether it's a contract whether a home just opened up again for you and whatever this is definitely if you've done your inner work and you've transcended that and you've kind of uh, transmuted that energy and that distortion the, the core belief that kind of goes along with that you will see it coming a mile away and you will you know not feel inclined to engage again and you'll just that's it now if you are still unresolved with that energy this thing is going to kind of grab you it's going to make you feel like um it's going to it's going to feel you're going to feel inclined it's going to be interesting you're going to want to get into it you're going to want to you know whoever this is or whatever this is and sometimes you may have this desire to engage or or even if it's so strong you might find it very difficult to say no so whatever this is just know that today's message is okay is if you find yourself wanting that go around again or taking that go around again then you know what go ahead and do it you know go ahead and do it uh, but and you will have divine protection as you do because sometimes you just have to live your way through uh, an experience so that you can get to a place where you're just like I don't want to have this anymore I don't want to do this anymore I don't want to hurt myself no more self-sabotage so uh, you know you need to get to the, a rock bottom for yourself and if you're not there as yet then this thing this person place thing situation or idea this energy that is coming in at this time is going to appeal to you okay now how much that appeal is is going to be is going to relate to how strong the unresolved energy is how strong the, the misperception is on at your core right but you you know spirit is saying you will have your protection as needed but you do need to learn that this energy is not good for you okay and if it means you need to go uh, have another cycle with with engaging <laughs> with this energy again then so be it but anyway I am gonna go for reels because now this is <laughs> nearing 40 minutes god bless <laughs> um, again so if you have any questions or you'd like to work together please go ahead and check the all the links they're all there everything's there um, but until then god bless you guys and please make sure that you think thrice thrice <laughs> before you make any decisions okay love you guys have a nice week bye